Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel everybody. Today I've got CA Toll Defense with me, which is basically just a rebranding of CA Internet Security Suite. They've just changed the name, but let's see if their program is actually changed and better, hopefully. So let's open up the user interface. It's kind of like a really ugly user interface in my opinion. I don't like the cyclic thing and their animations are terrible. You can see the lag in the animation so it's not a great user interface. The layout is quite confusing and it's really hard to like you know it says update settings here but it means that changing settings basically it's not update settings. This is what gives you your actual settings. So let's take a look here. We've got thread settings and um, this is how it comes from the factory pretty much but ignore suspicious files this was checked before I unchecked it so that's one setting that I've changed in program access I still don't know how this works this looks a lot like Kaspersky's uh, application control so if uh, it's something like that it's really nice then we have global program protection. It protects the registry. Program protection and code injection protection is turned off by default, and I will not change that. So that's how we'll leave the settings. And they've got a few features. You can back up your files. They've got parental controls. They've got a web filter. It's kind of like a download protection, more like McAfee, I guess. So let's close the user interface and let's check for updates once. Now I did forget to point out one thing. Now it says here computer is not safe. Please do not worry about that. It's just because it wants me to perform a full scan and I know that's not necessary because this is a brand new install of Windows. It's not infected. At least till now. So. I don't have to do this. So let's check for updates. And I believe it should be up to date. Because I did one a few seconds ago. Does take a moment. And the installer is about 172 megabytes, I believe. And it is. And uh, first time you do the update, it is a pretty big update. So yeah, it's kind of like big. But if we look at the memory usage, I'm sure it's not too heavy. Uh, I took a look a few minutes ago and it was like 30 megabytes at the moment. It's really high. The CA threat management engine is using like 130 megabytes, but I'm sure that's going to drop. Pretty sure. I've seen it as low as 30 megabytes, so I don't think memory usage is an issue. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to drop pretty soon. So we'll take another look. If it doesn't drop, that'll be a different story. But I have noticed uh, a little bit of system slowdown. It's not much though, and it's manageable. I mean, it's pretty okay for most computers. Dinosaur age computers might have problems, but um, it's not that heavy. It's greatly improved from the last time I've seen this, because it was terribly heavy at that at one point. So. Here we have some new guests, uninvited ones of course, and they're going to try to sneak in to the system and we will see how Toll Defense totally protects us because these are all zero day malware. So here's the first link and uh, this one's through their web filter and I will try to run it some kind of MPEG-3 file, that's interesting now we've got some Russian stuff
and it's downloading something very nice so we'll try out the next one let's open up kill switch to take a look at the process now these are all total defense process so don't mind them but this is certainly not you know a good thing we've got some kind of trojan ware here it's signed but uh, that's no excuse for a trojan so let's try the second one so this site is uh, classified as a high-risk website and they have two buttons here download and cancel looks like the last one wants me to use my media player and let's see what is the recommendation unless you're sure about the validity of the file it's strongly recommended that you cancel this download so it's kind of like McAfee's download blocking but I would rather like it if it would be allow and block rather than download and cancel because download kind of like makes people want to click on it never mind cancel that and let's see because the last file seems to be hmm, that's quite interesting it did download an audio file so it may not be as malicious as we thought I thought it was going to download some more malware but it is doing some stuff as you can see we just got a report from kill switch telling us that it created its own service so it's not a great thing to have on your computer now here's uh, another alert from total defense the reputation of this website is not considered safe hmm. that's kind of like a reputation alert so we'll hit cancel again try the next one oh this is some kind of adware I'm pretty sure it has a high detection rate so it should have been caught and as we can see it's doing something in the background and now it's loading try the next link this one is indeed caught it's a high risk website so I'll hit cancel so this is interesting. AVS Media Player, please update your outdated installer. And we have a big green button here update and close. I'll hit close. Let's see if that closes it. Because if it does, then I may not be as disappointed. Let's try next one. High risk. So we'll cancel that. And I think I will split up this test into two parts. So first I'll do the prevention test and the detection and you know zero day test separately. So it'll be two videos. Here's another pretty big file. I'm sure these are all infected. Try out the next one. Now look at this. I've hit already hit close, and you saw I hit continue. It says will not be downloaded and installed, and I hit yes. Doesn't seem to close, no matter what I do. Okay, no closes it actually. So I guess that's okay. Let's see if the process is still running.
So we are seeing some process coming in and out. The last one just terminated. So we'll see what basically happens to the system. So here's another reputation alert. I'll hit cancel again. It's good that they have some kind of reputation service. That's nice. It says high risk. So let's try to download it and save it on my desktop and let's see if their file signatures can catch it. I know it was caught by the web filter but I wanted to see if it can catch it without the web filter. Let's say somebody downloaded it and uh, brought it in a USB stick, what would happen in that case? Or let's say there are more websites with the same file on them. So from what it seems it just let it come straight through. So this is not good. Especially for the second part of the test where we'll be testing their offline signatures. Looks like they're relying solely upon their this toolbar here download blocking so that might cause problems not saying that download blocking is bad it's pretty good and it's great for inexperienced users but you should also have some signatures because let's say there are about hundred websites with the same file on them now if you have uh, blacklisted the website the other you know you may have blacklisted 50 websites and the rest might not be in your blacklist so the same file can still infect the system but in case you have the signature it doesn't matter where the file comes from it it's gonna get blocked each time which is better in my opinion but that's okay we will see that in the second part of the test which I'll do a couple of days later I guess so this again is interesting it does give me an option to cancel I guess but I'll install it and see what this thing is I think I closed out kill switch so that's the end of uh, you know the prevention test it's not quite the end of the test but we have tried all the links let's open up kill switch again and take a look at what's running we do have a ton of desktop icons here lots of Russian stuff let's see what is fishy here we've got this guard mail ru.exe and I don't know what kind of stuff is this and then we've got this mail are you updater I think this might be some kind of adware that has got tons of process and then this is of course CA or toll protection or whatever you like to call it so at the moment we're just seeing a few process I mean it's not a lot most of the major stuff got blocked I guess I did have some kind of backdoors and stuff in there. I don't, I'm not seeing anything of that sort. Most of it is just adware stuff. So I will do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be back with the result and uh, then we'll scan with Hitman Pro. So we'll do a proper test this time. I mean we'll have to do it because uh, it didn't quite do that well. Well, that's quite interesting. Malwarebytes, in fact, uh, claims that the system is clean. It did not detect anything at all. I really like it when the security suite blocks everything and I don't have to do any scans. It just makes my work a lot easier. But this time we'll have to scan with Hitman Pro as well. And maybe a few more scanners. Let's see. Well, Hitman Pro seems to uh, not agree with Malwarebytes. It says that we've got a worm in here. It's cut by Icarus. And two other files that might be suspicious. Now, I also found something suspicious myself. As you can see, we have some Flash Player module running around here. I don't know what this thing is. 
it's not supposed to be here I'm pretty sure then we've got this uh, mail RU updater of course and uh, a couple of more mail RU modules but since uh, not neither hitman pro nor malware bytes found them they might actually be legit um, I did find this internet explorer thing and it's running around you can see that there is no internet explorer open and if I try to terminate it it doesn't quite work out I cannot terminate this process at least not using task manager so something's definitely fishy around here so at the moment uh, um, I could do a scan with Komodo but I'm not gonna do that because Komodo's detections might be you know unreliable they're a ton of false positives related with it so I'm not gonna use it but for sure I mean this system is not a hundred percent clean there's certainly some stuff in there and Hitman Pro did find some kind of worm so definitely not uh, you know the best performance here by total defense and uh, I'm also seeing that it is uh, almost totally dependent on its toolbar to catch threats that's not a very bright thing for a security suite especially a big one like this uh, you should be having more file signatures and uh, although web filtering is really nice way to block threats it's always uh, more safe if you have a signature for it so right now we do have a few infiltrations as you saw the worm and some odd things happening around so I don't know I mean it's like uh, it didn't do too bad but not great either so yeah just an average performance in the first part of the test and uh, a little while later I'll be doing the detection and uh, zero day test that'll be more interesting because um, that'll be totally about the signatures and their zero day components they do seem to have some zero day components and hopefully then we'll be able to see them in action so I hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the test have a nice day and I will talk to everybody later mm.